Greetings uh, once again to all my fellow watch enthusiasts across YouTube and Facebook and wherever else this video is being seen. It's Celine Driver once again. I have another uh, watch review. Uh, this is another one of those uh, quote unquote high end watches uh, that I have been allowed to play with for a short period of time. As you know, I get to do this uh, once in a while and then I uh, have to return them. So, uh, sad to see them go, but uh, always excited for a new one. Uh, this one comes from a company, as you can see here, called DeWitt or DeWitt or something. Um, it's a Swiss company, so I hope I'm pronouncing it properly. <clears throat> um, very interesting uh, watch, uh, very lightweight watch, um, very simple, um, but uh, very unusual looking. So I'm going to uh, go ahead and open the outer box, which is a uh, heavy duty cardboard. Very nice. And inside the <clears throat> outer box of course if you have an outer box then it follows logically that you have an inner box and you can see just the box so we have inner box um, not sure what the material is uh, maybe wood with a coating or something um, very interesting and we have inside the box ta-da Oh, where's the watch? Oh, did I get screwed? No, I didn't get screwed, of course not. Um, anyway, we have the uh, guarantee card here with the um, individual number and date of purchase and uh, the um, caliber or watch reference, which is a DeWitt T8.FM.001. Um, and we have... Uh, a tool, a little pointy tool, which we'll get to that in a minute. And we have a nice little, and you can see the rest of the box is empty. And we have a nice little um, feature here. Um, the watch is inside here when it ships and it doubles as a, uh, as a travel case. So that's kind of a nice feature. It's nice soft leather with um, hard sides not going to collapse on you and as you saw it just fits right in there like that and inside we actually do have ta-da the watch very nice in here soft leather up top very nice suede in here with a little sizer thingy very nice. And we'll just put that all back there like that and put it aside. And we have the watch. As I said, a DeWitt model, <clears throat> excuse me, T8.FM.001. It is a partially skeletonized watch. You can see that right there. Uh, it is a moon phase watch, as you can see right here. This is being videoed uh, one day after a, a recent full moon. And um, you can see it's indicating a little past full moon right there. Beautiful watch. Got a nice little star field effect here with the uh, little sparkly effect. Just a very interesting interesting watch the indices don't go all the way around they kind of stop at uh i guess 25 would probably be about right and then they don't pick up again until 55 <laughs> uh, but the um little slivers here do seem to correspond to the uh to the fives so like 30 35 40 45 50 and then picks up 55 here again with a nice 
coin looking uh, edge to it although in the on, on the website they refer to it as a column look uh, I guess I can see that coin look column look however you want to uh, look at it beautiful watch look at that DeWitt Geneva 288 which is its I guess model number if you will uh, it's probably a serial number or of some kind. TI for titanium. Elshin over at Zelo should be very familiar with that by now. And it's just a beautiful, simple two-hander. Yeah, I know, just like the, um, just like the uh, Frederic Constant that I reviewed in the last video, uh, a, a two-hander. Um, Moon phase as well, like that one, but uh, this one doesn't have a date complication. Uh, boy, that that Frederick Constant was a controversial watch, man. I got some very un how should we say uncomplimentary comments about that uh, that watch. Uh, it just seemed to stir up a lot of uh, a lot of angst about such a simple little eighteen karat uh, gold watch. Uh, all kinds of criticisms about it, but you know, you take the bad, the bad with the good, I guess. Anyway, this one shouldn't create as much controversy since it's not 18 karat gold or rose gold. It is actually titanium. The whole case is titanium. As you can see, very short lugs. This the, this watch wears very well. Uh, I think. Uh, I, re I do remember the hands and the indices at the 12 and 3 are rose gold. But uh, other than that, and you can see the moon actually moved a little while I've been talking here. Very interesting. Um, all the rest is titanium with a uh, alligator leather um, strap and a deploy clasp, which was undeployed when I um, when it was put in its box but it closes up very simply here let's see I think that's the right hold there and clicks into place and then the whole thing just closes with a click and it has the double push buttons on the side to release it beautiful watch very nice dress watch a um, little bit thick maybe for a dress watch, but it is intended to be a dress or sporty watch, although the water resistance on it isn't such that I would trust it to be terribly good for water sports. And I say water sports in the clean method. Please, been hacked on that before too, so leave, leave me alone. Fits beautifully on me. The lugs just fall right there on my wrist. I mean, it, it centers up beautifully. It, it It's a big watch. It's a 43 millimeter watch, but it's lightweight titanium. It wears like, you know, it's like air. I swear to you, the strap probably weighs more than the watch. But uh, just a beautiful piece. I'm going to turn it loose there. All right. Let's give you some information about the watch so you're a little bit more educated and knowledgeable about a very rare. Um, well, they don't make a lot of these. I think total production for DeWitt in any one year is probably under 250 watches. So you're not going to run across these watches very often. But I do have some information. A uh, little interesting fact I discovered along the way, uh, the owner of the founder and owner of the company, Jerome DeWitt, uh, I believe he is Belgium, Belgian, uh, he is actually a descendant of uh, Emperor Napoleon. So hopefully he's not going to feel like conquering Europe anytime soon, although given the state of most of Europe, uh, don't know why he would. Uh, that's a joke, folks, please. You know, I know I have some European fans out there. Please don't beat me up too much. 
Um, it is an in-house movement. It is a Swiss-made watch, as I think you can see right there. It says Swiss-made, doesn't it? Yeah, it does. Okay. Uh, Swiss-made. It is an in-house modified movement, according to uh, the information I've been able to find. It is a it is an ETA movement, uh, most likely a twenty-eight ninety-two, but it has been modified by Dewitt extensively to accommodate the moon phase and uh, and kind of make it their own. Uh, it is a solid case back, so unfortunately we can't see it. Uh, it is, uh, as I said, it is classified model number is 288, and it's spelled out the word 20 8 dash the word 8. I don't know why they do that, but they do that. It probably has something to do with the beats per hour, 28,800. 28, um, it is a titanium case with an alligator leather strap, as I said before. It is, uh, as I said before, a 43 millimeter diameter case uh, with a 21 inch lug, and it is an externally uh, screwed lug. Uh, however, good luck trying to find that bit. Might be a Torx bit. You're gonna have fun with that. Uh, 12 and a quarter millimeter thick, according to the website. It does have a moon phase complication, as you can see. I could not find out if those were actually pearls. Uh, I searched high and low to find out what that is in there. Uh, I couldn't find it. I They look like pearls. They shimmer like pearls. They kind of look like pearls. Uh, you know, if it looks like a duck and it quacks like a duck, it's a duck. So if it looks like a pearl and shimmers like a pearl, it's a pearl. But I don't want to say it's a pearl and then get killed in the comments when I find out it's something else. So I'm saying maybe. Uh, partially skeletonized, as you can see. Uh, sapphire crystal. It is a flat sapphire crystal. And it has a water resistance of 30 meters. So quick dip in the pool if you are so inclined. I wouldn't, not with this strap anyway. Uh, get wet when it's raining out, it'll be okay. I uh, wouldn't want to go snorkeling in it. Signed crown, as you can see. And as I said, it, to me it looks like, I, I, I would call this coin-edged um, treatment. Uh, the website calls it a column treatment. Six of one, half dozen of the other. And if you might notice, right there is a pusher. And that's where this guy comes in, although you can use a pusher tool off of, uh, you know, like a, a strap tool like I do because it's bigger and I can get a better purchase on it. But this tool is meant for this pusher right there. I'm not going to push it. And, well I, uh, well, I guess I can just to demonstrate anyway. This is how you set the moon phase if it's off. You just push, and you can see the little armature right there. I don't know if it's called an armature or not, but the armature is affecting um, the, uh, the moon phase, or at least it should be. Well, it was moving a second ago. Oh God, did I break it? I hope not. Doesn't seem to want to move anymore. All right, whatever. Try it one more time. I doubt I broke it, but... not there it goes. It's moving a little bit. Anyway, that's how that works, and uh, you know, or you can um, pull out the crown. I don't know if this movement hacks or not, but uh, you know, without a date feature, you know, we don't know if it's AM or PM. There, uh, they, there is a manual out there that uh, that shows um, you know how to set the moon phase using the uh, the crown, so that um, 
you know, you you don't get it knocked off incorrectly, but you can see the moon moved a little bit. So I'll set the time back later. It's all right. But uh, beautiful watch. I mean, just just a gorgeous piece. Um, somewhat rare. Not going to see these every day. Uh, and it just wears beautifully. I, I, I wore this uh, all day yesterday. And I tell you, it, it, it didn't feel like I was wearing anything because it's just so light. Anyway, going to wrap the video up right there and um, go on to other things for the day. Uh, I hope you enjoyed the video. Um, I certainly enjoy making these videos. Uh, and I enjoy getting to uh, play with these high-end watches. Uh, from uh, my source who of course wishes to continue to be anonymous uh, pity I'm going to have to give this thing back in a couple of days but uh, I've been promised uh, another one uh, another moon phase actually it's very unusual watch when you see that watch it's going to be like what in the hell is that and we'll, we'll shoot that video shortly so uh, if you like the video uh, appreciate a thumbs up Comments, questions, suggestions down below there, please. Uh, even if it's negative, but if it's going to be negative, at least keep it clean, please. Um, if you're not already a subscriber, uh, go ahead and click the subscribe button. And don't forget to click the bell icon so when I post new content, you're alerted right away. Um, I, my channel is growing uh, slowly but surely. It's getting up towards uh, 500 subscribers. Um, getting there as of uh, today's um, shooting so I really appreciate that I really appreciate people telling other people and people subscribing and so on so uh, I do appreciate that and uh, uh, thank you so have a good rest of your day and I will see you next video